Okay, in today's video, we're going to show you how to use the polygon tool and how to add text to create your very own uh, stop sign here. So this is your finished product. So let's start with a brand new piece. So up here at the top, select I Pro and select New. And we're going to make a new standard part. And it brings you here to this screen right here. So you're going to select Create 2D Sketch. And we're going to select the XY plane. And now up here in your draw tool, or draw or sketch tab, excuse me, you've got polygon over here to the far right in your draw section. That allows you to create any regular shape up to 120 sides. And when you have regular shapes, all the angles and all the sides are equal. So if we draw a triangle, it's going to have three equal side triangles. If we draw a hexagon, three equal or six equal sides, and for our stop sign, it will have eight. So we click on Polygon, and it defaults to the number six, but we're going to change that to eight. When we do that, we come down here and select our center point. We click it, and we drag straight up. And as you can see, it's a little bit tilted to the right there. So we're going to straighten it up here, get that top line straight. If you don't get it straight, that's okay, because it's going to change here in a second anyway, we'll show you how to straighten it out. When you click, you end up with an eight-sided polygon there. All right, so we can hit Done on that. And now we want to make sure we have everything dimensioned right here. So we click on Dimension, click on the top line here, let's draw that out. We see that our stop sign has a individual side length of 0.325. Let's make that one inch even. And as we do that, it gets a little bit too big, so we zoom out, and there's everything we need right here. And as you can see, everything's kind of straight right there. So we don't really have to adjust anything, but if you did have to, you could select this button right here, horizontal constraint, click on your line, and it would make sure that it is horizontal with the x-axis down here. So if yours is a little crooked, horizontal constraint, click on the top line, and it will straighten it up with the x-axis. Now, you're not able to see probably everything right here, because um, I'm trying to record in a little bit higher quality video today, uh, so everything may look a little bit, uh, you may not see everything, but we'll try this out. If it doesn't work, we'll, try, we'll go back to the old way for the next video. So let's finish the sketch. We'll zoom out here that there where you can see everything okay and let's extrude this now an inch too big so let's go half an inch and hit enter all right now of course we're making a stop sign so this gray color is just not going to get it done here so let's select extrusion one over here and find you a nice red color i think light red is what i use for our example and that's a good color right there. All right, now sometimes if you look at a stop sign, it has a white trim around it. So I'm going to show you how to add that trim right here. Basically, we're going to have this sketch again. So we're going to create a 2D sketch right here. Okay, put this up here so you can see everything. All right, and we're going to just select Polygon again. We're going to start here at this center point. And I'm just dragging it out right up here to the edge. Not quite all the way. Pretty close. Okay, and I'm going to turn mine to the side just a little bit so I can show you this horizontal constraint. And as you see there, it's a little bit crooked. So I'm going to click on uh, horizontal constraint. I'm going to click this top line. And there it straightens everything up. Let me close my email out here so it's not dinging on you guys again there. All right. And as you can see there, everything is straight. If you click it too many times, it tells you the sketch already exists. So we can finish this sketch. Now, we can't color in behind here unless we extrude this. We really don't want it to stick out that much. So just click on the outside shape right here between these two lines. Of course, 0.5 is too much. So make that 0.01. I mean, it's just barely extruded. So you can click on Extrusion 2. And find you a nice uh, white color here. I think mine... Let's see. 
back over here and look at my original one. Extrusion 2, I went with just cool white. So I laid Extrusion 2. And I changed my default color to cool white. All right, so now we've got the basics of the stop sign, but we need the word stop. So we're going to click Create 2D Sketch one more time. And click right here. Okay, let's pull this back up so you can see everything. Um, we're going to select the text feature. And we're going to click and place our text. Now we come down here in the bottom and we type STOP for stop. Now, if we hit OK, it's going to be extremely small. So we're going to make this a little bit bigger. Well, we know this piece right here is one inch. So under size, we're going to change that to 0.5. The key here, you've got to have it highlighted down here or none of these changes at the top will take place. And then we're going to make it bold. And of course, we're going to make our color white instead of black. So click on the little box over here at the end. So that change it to white. Select bold. You can actually change the font type over here. I'm not going to do that. Uh, you're more than welcome on yours to do that. And click OK. And as you can see, it's a little bit off right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this and we're going to drag, hold and drag here, get it, try to center it up here. And there is our stop sign. If we hit finish sketch, you'll see your stop sign there. Uh, if you click on extrude, if you click on the letters, you can pull that out just 0 0.01 inch there as well. Kind of get rid of those yellow lines there. There's your stop sign. So save that, show it to me, let me know you're finished, and that's it.